This next segment is the cat vein dissection of the thorax, neck, and arm. This is the superior vena cava bringing blood into the right atria of the heart. This is a trunk known as the internal mammary vein draining the anterior chest wall. The superior vena cava will bifurcate into the brachiocephalic vein. These large veins are known as the external jugular veins which will drain blood into the brachiocephalic. The brachiocephalic will continue as the subclavian vein continue under the arm as the axillary vein and into the upper arm as the brachial vein. This is the subscapular vein which will drain blood from the scapular area and merge into the subclavian vein. Following the external jugular veins up toward the head, note a vein that connects both jugular veins on both sides. Uh, known as the transverse jugular vein. At this point, the veins will bifurcate. One vein will travel behind the ear. This is the posterior facial vein. And one will travel under the jaw. And this is known as the anterior facial vein. Again, this is the anterior facial vein. And this is the posterior facial vein. Draining blood from the deep neck and into the brachiocephalic vein is the vertebral vein. In this view, the right lung is pulled away from the thorax. This is the azagous vein, which will drain blood into the superior vena cava. Along the side of the neck is the transverse scapular vein, which will drain blood into the external jugular vein and draining the back of the arm is the cephalic vein. Before showing the vessels of the abdomen and the pelvis, let's review the location of the major organs. The liver and gallbladder, the greater omentum, the spleen, and we see the stomach, Push the greater omentum aside. This is the small intestine. Large intestine, the urinary bladder. This is a female specimen. So this is the uterus, uterine horn, the ovary, and the kidney. The arteries of the abdomen and, and pelvis include the large abdominal aorta running the entire length of the back. The first unpaired branch off of the aorta is the celiac trunk. It will trifurcate. This is the common hepatic artery to the liver. This is the left gastric artery to the stomach. And this is the splenic artery to the spleen. The next unpaired artery is the superior mesenteric artery, bringing blood to the small intestine. And inferior to the superior mesenteric artery are the paired renal arteries. And if we look closer in this region, you'll notice the adrenal gland and the blood supply to the adrenal gland, which is the suprarenal artery or the adrenal artery.